Tonight, we battle the dark spirits of sorcery, witchcraft, but specifically necromancy. Necromancy. What is it? How is it performed? David, I've heard about it. I, you know, it's, it's one of those things they do, uh, you know, in those haunted houses or, you know, the, the witches hang out someplace and do it. But who's really doing it? And who's really behind it? And why are they doing it? Necromancy is the practice. It's the practice of magic involving communicating with the dead. Now, I want you to listen to me. Don't discount this because please don't think, David, I'm so far removed from communicating with the dead that I don't even know. I don't think so when I'm done. When we get into the truth of this, we're going to find out how the demons are working today in modern day necromancy. Do you think that God would would condemn it in the Bible, that scripture comes uh, so much against it, God hates it so much? Do you think that the devil is going to operate today the way he operated many, many years ago? Of course not. He's going to take the new technology. He's going to take the tools that he has at hand, and we are going to blow Satan out of the water, exposing him tonight, because this is one of the reasons why the people, God's people, are suffering, because lack of knowledge, and also because Jesus said, be not deceived. Okay, what is it? It's summoning spirits. It's the appar apparitions, visions of raising people from the dead. Now, now stay with me, because it's not so much about we're going to now conjure up an evil spirit and have them go out and do something, even though it is, okay? Scripture, Scripture talks about sorcery. Now, there's a thing called death magic. That's their terminology. You, you've heard of it as black magic. That's the Halloween term, okay? Folks, this is very, very serious stuff. This is why perhaps you and I have at certain times been ill. This is why you and I have at certain times encountered um, negativity, darkness in our lives. And we're going to go into this deep because God's people need to be informed. They need to understand what this is all about. Scripture proclaims severe consequences for anyone anyone to communicate with the dead. And those consequences is death. Uh, Jared, let's go to uh, Leviticus, Leviticus 19.31. Just a few scriptures, just so, so we can get a, acquainted with this. And this is God's heart crying out to the people. Leviticus 19.31, do not turn mediums or turn to mediums or seek out spiritualists spiritist, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Isaiah 819, Jared, 819. When someone tells you to consult mediums and spiritists, you whisper and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living? Why is it? Why does God not want such practices? Is it because he believes that we could conjure up the dead and they're actually going to give us information that we don't need to have? Well, that's silly. Of course, the dead are dead, but here's the problem. When you conjure up the dead, you're not conjuring up great grandma. You're conjuring up a deep, dark, evil spirit from hell that comes up and makes people think that they're being guided by great granny, when in, 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 in reality, it's Satan guiding them. You say, David, hang on. Now you're getting back into this, uh, you know, raising the dead stuff. Stay with me. Stay with me. I tell you, today, at this moment, at this time in space, the devils are using the technology that exists to raise the dead. Do you have a television? Do you have a computer? Do you have an iPad? Do you have a smartphone? Chances are, if you have a computer, iPad, smartphone, you have been involved with conjuring up the dead. Necromancy.
This is how the demons are working today. Listen, God laid this in my heart to share it with you. I wasn't going to. It's very deep and it's very disturbing, but it has to be said. And there's people out there that are going to hear my voice and they're going to get so mad and think, probably think I'm crazy. <laughs> well, I might be crazy for God. But if you have a device that pumps movies into your brain, oh, David, I, don't, I quit watching those movies. Okay, if you have a device that pumps documentaries into your brain, well, I don't watch those either. Okay, if you have a device that pumps commentaries, news media into your brain, chances are you are experiencing some for, form of necromancy. And I'm going to get into it even deeper. These shows with themes and stories that, and I'm not talking about just the ones that are blatantly raising the dead, even though, you know, if you look at The Exorcist, if you go back, search your heart, all the horror films that you've watched in your life, and, and think about how that stuff has gone into your brain and how it's about playing with evil spirits and raising the dead and Ouija boards and yo you name it, all that stuff gets plowed into your brain. Chances are, you've not only watched this, but the actors that are in the shows, the people that are in the news media, they are actually witches. They, they are planted strategically to program you, to program me, to get to God's people. You know, I know actors being from Hollywood, and I've spoken to, oh, I don't want to say many, I want to say a handful. That's many. And they have said the same thing to me over and over again. You know, David, I don't know where it comes from, but I, I just conjure it up. I, I go into this space where I feel this, this spirit take me over, and then I... And then I do my performance. And some of these people I'm talking about are very well-known actors. And you watch their performance on screen. And I actually saw one of the gals that told me what she did. And when I saw her perform, I could see demons coming out of her. I could see that she conjured up these evil spirits. You see, this is raising of the dead. This is bringing these spirits into a body into something that can perform in the physical. And when you watch this, they are putting that out on the screen. You say, well, okay, I don't watch movies. Well, let's talk about the news media. Uh, have you ever watched a person, uh, a commentator, a, uh, a news reporter, and you're going, this person is, this person's from hell. This person's a demon. I mean, I've seriously seen lately, especially since this, you know, virus stuff going on and, and they hate Trump and they hate this. And I don't want to get into all that. But I mean, hatred, 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 spewing out this nonsense. And I said to my wife, I said, this person, look in their eyes. They're demon possessed. And they're on a major network every night spewing this garbage and people are listening to it. If you're like me, and you're tired of organized religion, the same kind of preacher preaching feel-good sermons, I'm a mom raising two kids, and I want them to hear the truth. I'm a gatherer right here on David Heavener Live, every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, where we learn what it means to be a real Christian, to cast our demons, heal the sick, and fight the good fight. I'm not famous, and I'm certainly not rich, but I am a child of the living God, and I stand on truth. I hope you'll join me and many others right here on David Heavener Live, where we learn to use our God-given power. I've come to chew gum and kick the duck's rear end, and I'm all out of gum.